Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Gaming on Cafe. My name is Isaac, and we are back playing some mod sauce here in the mining dimension. Why, why are we in the mining dimension? Well, we are about to update this pack to the newest version of mod sauce, that being version 1.0.1.0, uh, if you're watching this at some point in the future. Uh, and the reason that we are in the mining dimension is because as soon as I update from the current version to the newest version, this dimension is going to be wiped completely, which means it's going to be reset to its original default state. And all of this stuff that we have over here would disappear forever. So... What we're going to do real quick before we update is we're going to grab all of this stuff, which apparently we can't do with that, so we're going to use our pickaxe. And the main reason that I want to show you guys this, uh, me dismantling stuff and taking it back, is because I want to show off a pretty cool block that I don't really get to use to move these chests back to the overworld, which we'll use in just a second once we've got... I don't want to lose those. Give those back. Thank you. Which we're going to use to move the chests around. So let's take you and you. I'll leave the trash can there. The trash can's not all that expensive. Uh, we'll take that dimensional transceiver, if you don't mind. And we'll go ahead and grab all of these. I'll come back and, and grab some more of these in a second because they do take... Um, it's going to take me quite a while because it's 100 by 100. But uh, that, the block that I want to use is the dolly from the Jabber mod, which is the mod that adds the barrels, uh, adds for the acronym just another battle barrel attempt, which I think what Jabber means. But uh, basically what the dolly does is it allows you to move things like chests, barrels, spawners, all sorts of cool stuff like that. Uh, without them losing their inventories, which is pretty freaking awesome. So, if we were to head on into here and type in dolly, you'll notice there are two types. There's this red one here, which is a dolly, and then there's the diamond dolly, which is the blue one to the right there. And basically, we're going to use the normal dolly, A, because it's really, really cheap. It's just some iron and some wood. And B, because the diamond dolly is a bit more expensive. It requires a normal dolly and three diamonds. And we don't really need the diamond dolly. The diamond dolly is used to move things like spawners, like if you want to move a blaze spawner from the nether, or if you found a zombie spawner underground. It's used to move stuff like that, which we don't need to do right now. But we could do in the future if we want to get a better spawner than the one we have downstairs. So, if we head on back through our portal and go over to our chests again, what we should be able to do with this guy is pick all these up. Now, uh, I could have just gone ahead and, like, grabbed all this stuff, done some inventory jobs a couple of times, but that's, that's no fun. What we could do with this is we can go, boom, look at that. And we have picked up the full chest. We can go ahead and put that down somewhere else like that. And if we open it up, you can see that it still has all of the stuff we had in it just a second ago, which is pretty freaking awesome. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to go away. I'm going to do this a couple more times, four more times after this one. Take them back, throw them down in the overworld somewhere, update the pack to the newest version, which is going to reset this world. And I'll be back in a second. Okay, and a little while later, we've updated the pack, and look at this, we've got a whole new mining dimension. It's a lot nicer looking, we have flowers, it's probably going to be a lot easier to, uh, to get into Batania now if we wanted to, because we have all of these Batania flowers, we've got some pigs, we've even got a tree, which was uh, completely unheard of in the previous mining dimension. But uh, for now, that's all we're going to do, we're going to move back into the overworld, because today, I want to focus on something a little bit different, that has absolutely nothing to do with the mining dimension at all. Here's all the chests that we brought over from the other dimension, uh, the other the two didn't have anything in them, they were just completely empty chests. And what I want to do today is I want to work on getting creative flight. Because as of right now, we have we have this jetpack, which is all well and good. But to be fair, it doesn't allow us to complete our set of, uh, of bound armor from Blood Magic. Which means that we can't really get the full effect out of it. As you can see, if you look at the, uh, the, the soft armor bars down here. Uh, as soon as we take it off, we lose a significant portion of, uh, of our like defense. So, what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and get creative flight that doesn't require us to have the jetpack on or anything in our armor slots. And to do that, we're going to go with something that I haven't actually used before. And that is this guy over here, the angel ring. Which all you have to do to, to get the angel ring to work is have it somewhere in your inventory. And it will allow you to have creative flight, which is pretty freaking awesome. So, in order to make this thing, you just need two glass, four gold... Two unstable ingots, which are made by combining a diamond, an iron, and a division sigil. Uh, this is pretty unstable, and these things only last for about 10 seconds before they explode, which is going to make the crafting really fun. And I believe you can also only do this in a vanilla crafting table as well, so we can't even do the whole uh, sort of shift click with any eye or do some cool tricks with applied energistics. None of that stuff works. we got to do it in a vanilla crafting table. And the, uh, the creme de la creme is this guy in the middle, the nether cube, also known as the nether star, which we need in order to get this thing to work. So, 
In order to do that, we are going to need uh, two... Oh, one second. In order to get ourselves another cube, we're going to have to fight a wither and kill a wither. This recipe doesn't work. It only works on peaceful, and we don't play on peaceful. So we're going to have to kill a wither, and to spawn a wither, we are going to need these four soul sand and three wither skeleton skulls. Now, um, I did a bit of a check before the episode started, and for some reason, we already have one wither skeleton skull. Not quite sure where we got that from. But, uh, but that's fine. I'm not going to complain. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a sword that's going to allow us to get more Wither Skeleton Skulls. And the best way to do that, I've found, is to use a Tinker's Construct and go with the beheading sort of feature that you can add to some of the Tinker's Swords. So let me clear my inventory a little bit. We don't need half of this junk that we've got on us right now. To be fair, we probably don't need any of it, really. Uh, I'm going to keep the uh, the Bound Chestplate on me just in case we, uh, we get in a bit of a tough situation. I'm not quite sure how strong the rest of the armor is without the uh, without the Chestplate, so I'm not too sure how well we're going to fare against the Wither, but I'm hoping that we'll do at least somewhat okay. So let's go ahead and go a pickaxe as well while we're out here. And what, what's this? Ooh, arrows. It looked like a diamond arrow for some reason. I thought that was like a different color at the end. That's probably just me seeing things. But so what we're going to do is we're going to make a Tinker's Construct Sword with a beheading. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to take some of the cobalt and ardite that we got from mining in the mining dimension from our quarries that we've been running. Ardite and cobalt. And we're going to combine this up in the smell tray to make ourselves a, a manulian. Man <laughs> People always have a go at me for how I pronounce this. I'm going to say Manulian. Uh, we're going to throw in two of these and two of these. And that should go into four Cobalt, four Ilite, which I think should get us uh, four Manulian. <laughs> I'll show you here. Look at this. Man, it's Manny. There we go. Manulian. Man man Manulian? <laughs> I'm going to say manually. I'm going to read it like that. There'll be a bunch of people in the comment section telling you how to actually pronounce it uh, if you are so interested. So, let's go over to our stencil table. We need to get ourselves a tool rod. We need a wide guard or some form of guard. We can use any of these, really. We're going to go with the hand guard. And we also need a, a sword blade. Take all three of those. And then what we need to do is we need to make stone versions of all three of those. Uh, get ourselves some gold and make a cast of all three as well. So... Let's grab some stone, let's grab some gold, and let's get to work. So, we're going to have to go ahead and do something like this. We're going to throw one, two, three, four, five, six of those in there. As you can see, we did get those four Manulian ingots, which is more than enough to make a sword, considering that this uses one Manulian, and these two together both use one, because they both use half each. So, we only need really two in order to make this, which is kind of nice. So... Uh, let's head on back over to the part builder. Let's do something like this. We get a stone, a stone sword blade. We can get ourselves a stone tool rod and a stone... There we go. Stone. Uh, actually, we'll do this just to uh, just to use up those stones. Stone shards are basically half of a stone. So when this thing says it uses the material cost of 0.5, basically, you probably know what that means. But basically, the stone is the stone shard is the other 0.5 of the cobblestone. We'll take that. And what we should be able to do is something like this. We can throw the stone sword down. We can make sure make sure gold's at the bottom. Please don't pour your manulian over the sword. I don't think it'll work, but don't just don't try it. <laughs> we can do this, and that's going to get us a stone sword cast. Well, not a stone sword cast, just a sword cast. We could then switch back to Manulian like so, and then make ourselves a Manulian sword. Now, I don't think I'm actually going to make my blade out of Manulian because there's not really much point. By having the uh, the blade out of Manulian, we kind of get most of the damage. Uh, for the rod and the wide guard, we could probably make it out of something else. Now, I think I'm going to go ahead and use paper. Which is going to give it a lower durability, but it's going to give us an extra writer ball, which means when we're adding uh, our effects onto the sword later on, we can add some extra stuff, which is going to be really useful, because we want this sword to be really strong and have beheading, and we can get up to beheading 3 on there as well, so... The more, uh, the more of those we have, the more... What are they called now? Uh, let me... Ah, I don't know, I'm going to have to tell you in a second. The more... Oh, what are they called? Ah, I completely forgot. I've just blanked on completely on what they're called. Uh, but let's go ahead and make ourselves a guard cast. We'll make the guard out of manually, and why not? Uh, let's go ahead and make sure we get the cast first, like so. We're going to use that paper rod, and, and then we should be good to go. We'll switch manually back to the bottom. Let that go into there. And we should be good to go. Okay, let's go with this guy. We're going to go blade, hand guard, and rod. And it was modifiers. Modifiers is what I was going for there. You can see we have four modifiers. Usually you only get three. But because we made one of our parts out of paper, we got ourselves that extra modifier, which is pretty nice. So, 
Uh, if we had materials in you on us, which we don't, you would be able to see that by adding a uh, ender pearl and a piece of obsidian to uh, any t any type of sword, it will get the beheading effect. So. Let's take, like, a stack of obsidian, even though we need nowhere near that much, and some ender pearls. Again, we'll take a uh, stack. What we can do is we can do something like this. We can put the sword blade in there, ender pearls on top, obsidian on the bottom, and you see that we get beheading one. Like that. Now we can do it again and get beheading two. That would take our modifiers down to two, which is not really the best. I think for now, we're going to stick with beheading one. Because I, I also want to, I, I want this sword to have like multiple purposes. I want it to be able to get us the uh, the wither skeleton skulls to spawn the wither. But I also want it to be strong enough to actually kill the wither pretty fast once we get it. So right now, it has an attack damage of eight. I want to bump that up pretty significantly using some nether quads. Do we have any? Uh, we probably don't now, now that I say it. Um... No, really, really. We got surface quartz, but we doesn't look like we have uh, actually any nether quartz. So, what I'm gonna do is, like I said, I want it to be multiple purpose. So, uh, actually, what I'll do is I'll take it with me for now because for now uh, it should still be good for killing wither skeletons. And what we'll do is I'll head onto the nether. We'll kill as many wither skeletons as we find while we're down there. And what we'll also do is look for some nether quartz while we're out there as well. So I'm gonna go to that, guys, and I'll be back in a second. <laughs> Okay, so a little while later, we have about a stack and a bit of quads, almost two stacks actually, of, of nether quads, and I killed quite a few, oh, hello, I killed quite a few uh, wither skeletons down there using my sword with beheading one, and I didn't get a single wither skeleton skull, and it was at that point that I decided, you know what, we should we should just grab him in our safari net, which is why this guy's running around, by the way, uh, this is the guy who used to be in our safari net, how you been, did you, uh, did you enjoy it in there, was it, was it fun, you got very nice eyes. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I took him out there. I thought I'd be fine because if we look in here We have a, a book to more villagers to choose from uh, if we if we do lose that one So we should be fine uh, for villagers But what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw the wither skeleton skull uh, into or the wither skeleton in this fire net into here You want to make sure if you do do this you change this to do spawn exact copy because otherwise It's just gonna spawn a normal skeleton. So we want it to do that and what it should do is once the idle tick runs down, it's uh, at the minute it's turned off because what we did do uh, actually between episodes is this. I've built the lever into the wall behind this wall. If you have a look, is the redstone that goes all the way up to turn on and off the uh, the auto spawner. So if we flick this, you'll see it goes to a dark red, and that auto spawner should start to work. Let's have a look. Uh, I want to be on here. Boop. So we should see that idle tick running down. Bear in mind, it does require more. Mob essence in order to spawn an exact copy as opposed to not spawning an exact copy, but It's kind of worth it And we seem to be running low on power Which is pretty odd because we should be producing quite a bit of power from our thingamajigamabob over here our big reactor Official name there, that's what I've called it, the thing of Majima Bob. Um, we should, and when, wow, 25? Okay, so I think in order to get that back up to a, a nice level again, we're probably going to have to go ahead and throw some more Yolorium in there, which is not too big of a deal. We have some more there, although we could probably do, uh, we had, what, 111? We could probably do with pulverizing a bit more of that and probably even setting, setting up another quarry to uh, to work that as well. As well as probably setting up a cyanide reprocessor, which will allow us to reuse the cyanide in the big reactor. Look at that, straight back up to 1,000 plus redstone flux per tick. It is beautiful. Is this working again? Are we like back up to full juice? We are. Nice. Nice. So that should be spawning in with the skeleton skulls. Uh, not with the skeleton skulls, with the skeletons. Uh, oh, well, there we go. It, it died, like, instantly. Um, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Oh! Look, snap, we both got crowns. You can't see mine, but nice, nice crown. Uh, for now, I'm going to turn that off, because if it does spawn in there, I want the, I want to be able to get the head if it does come off by accident. But uh, that's going to go ahead and spawn one of those in every so often. It does require quite a bit of mob essence, so that could take a little while. But while that's doing that, let's go ahead and upgrade our... Uh, uh, sword. <laughs> Took me a while to get the word there. Uh, the fastest way to do this, I've found, is to make this into quartz blocks, which are made like that, not like the 9x9. So we can do that, and we'll do it again like that. And we'll see how much we can get out of this. So you can do something like this, and this. And we see it has a default of 8 attack damage to begin with. And if we keep doing this... Bear in mind this number here, once it gets to 72 out of 72, it'll take up an extra modifier. So you can add uh, 72 quartz to a sword, and it'll count as one modifier. Any more than that, it'll start on the next 72, and it'll, start on, uh, it'll count as the next modifier after that. So 
we can do this one more time. And you can see now we're up to 12. But if we were to do it again, it would take us down. It would use a bit of the modifier. I'm fine with that. Let's go ahead and use another one. Which takes us almost to the maximum there. Let's do that. And that. Just pump it as high as we can. You can see there is still space for us to add about 33 more uh, quads to that, which we could do at some point. And we do still have one extra modifier left. So let's go ahead and throw on another bit of heading just to make it a little easier for us to go ahead and get those Wither Skeleton Skulls. Do we have any? No, of course we don't. Wow. Uh, how is that doing? We need a lot more essence, I think. So that might have... This might not have been the best idea. We sh could, like I said at the beginning of the episode, set up uh, an actual spawner here. Like, put a spawner that we move with a dolly into here and use that instead. That would work pretty well, actually. But I think... We're up to 13 attack damage now, which is pretty nice. I think what we'll do is we'll head on back into the nether. I'll try and find... Uh, hello again. <laughs> I'll try and find uh, some more Wither Skeletons the, the good old-fashioned way. And we'll see if we can get some more heads. And I'll be back in a second. <laughs> Okay, so a little while later, the blood moon is rising, is what I've been told uh, in my in my thing. I had to do a quick reset, but uh, I'm not quite sure what that means. It's kind of scary. It makes everything very, very red. Uh, but the good news is that we do have these two Wither Skeleton Skulls, which, if we combine with this Wither Skeleton Skull and a spider... Where the heck did you come from? Uh, what? Our island has been mob-proof for, like... 35 episodes now. What the heck? Okay, good news is mob grieving's off. That is something I didn't know. Uh, does the red moon mean that mobs can just do whatever they want? I I don't even know. Okay, anyway, soul sand, definitely. With the skeleton skulls, yep. Cool bound chest plate, yep. We just want to get some more juice into our jetpack real quick before we do set off. Because I want to fly a little bit further away from, uh, from our island before we spawn one in. Because the wither... Uh, although we've just seen that mob griefing is off, I'm still a little scared that it'll, like, blow up everything that we have. So, we're going to do a quick fly away to a nearby island. The same island where we did our sacrifice for the Division Sigil. And that red moon is 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 very, very red indeed. Uh, which I think is actually not too far away, the nearest island. Yeah, it's just, just over there. Uh, I'm a bit worried about how good... Oh my god, it's, it's so red! It's really, really red. I'm a bit worried about how strong this sword is. I don't think it's going to be quite strong enough to kill the wither. I Oh my god, what? What? Look at this. What the heck is this? What the heck? Okay, okay, okay. That's enough of that. My god. God, that was far too many mobs. Um, I have a bit of a bad feeling that we can't sleep during the Blood Moon, so we may have to um, just kind of endure it, um, which is not the best. I mean, not not the best. Okay, okay, we're gonna we're gonna risk it. We're gonna we're gonna risk it. Here we go. We just need the one, the one Nether Cube. Now, like I said, I am I am really scared about how weak we are. I don't think we're strong enough to do this at all. Here we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Move away. Move away. Move away. We're not even on full health. What the heck, Isaac? What the heck? And we're being attacked. Oh my god. This was terrible. This was a horrible idea. Okay. 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 This was this was bad. This was this was really bad. Really, really bad. Uh, get out of here. Do we have any food? Like a apples. Apples. We have apples. Okay. There we go. Let's put that torch back down. Oh, I don't even know where the torch is. Oh, my gosh. We're going to die. <laughs> We're going to die. Okay, where is he? He's flying up. Oh, no, he's not. That's him there. Oh, oh. He is fast. No. Ah, oh, come on. Come on. What? Did you want to come meet your friends? <laughs> is that what you're after? Oh, no. Where is where is that wither gone? Why are you here? Get out of here. This was terrible. Whose idea was this? There we go. Okay. Uh, let's get some armor. Because we're not going to get anywhere without it. Okay. Where's our, where's our gravestone? No my luck, it'll have stopped midair. Which it probably did. Yeah, I could see it up there. Um, I, I don't think we have, we have some arrows. Do we have a bow? 
Of any kind? No, of course we don't. That will be far too easy. Do we have what it takes to make a bow? Maybe? Possibly? We do. Okay, I mean, this could work. Probably not, but it could work. Let's try, uh... Let's try this. Yeah. This could take a while. Oh my gosh, he is pissed. Ow. 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 Like I said, could take a while. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what? what are we supposed to do? We're going to be destroyed by the wither. That was the blood armor. I think I think the problem was that we didn't have... Um, like, do we have a chest plate? Do we have any armor left? No, we don't. <laughs> I think the problem was that we didn't bring... Uh, we didn't have enough life points in our, in our uh, blood magic pool. So when we tried to go ahead and use that blood magic armor just then, uh, it was kind of like, yeah, no, that's not going to happen. You, uh, you're you not strong enough to use that stuff. Get out. It doesn't help that the one day we decide to spawn a flipping withering, all the mobs in the world decide to come out to play. Do we have another sword? We do. Here we go. Get, get, get out of here. Stop trying to kill me. I'm done with it. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. 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 What I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to go away. I'm going to try and fix this somehow. Like I said, unfortunately, we can't sleep. And everything we got a gravestone for that last death. Come here. Damn. 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 Yeah, we don't feel tired right now, you know? But it's really just. Just. Damn. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm going to go try and figure this out, guys. And I'll be back in a second. Okay, so a really flipping long time later, and it turns out I couldn't actually fight the the wither as it were, so I had to go ahead and be a little bit cheaty, go into peaceful mode, and then back into normal again in order to get rid of the thing, because I don't think without rebuilding everything that we lost in that first death, without going back and rebuilding what we worked for the first 30 episodes, I don't think I'd be able to fight that guy in any feasible way. So, like I said, I got rid of him and, and came back again. I then spent a bunch of time back in the nether fighting some more wither skeleton skulls, uh, to get to more with the skeleton skulls. Uh, it took an awful lot longer this time, for whatever reason, to get all three of them. But uh, as you can see, my uh, my Manulian longsword is significantly weaker now than, than it was before. So what I've done is I've got three more with the skeleton skulls. And what we're going to do now is, again, be a little bit cheaty. And we're going to trap this guy in here. Because we know for a fact that he cannot break blocks. Okay, okay, I'm going to put that there. And what we should be able to do, I think, is just sort of fight him off uh, in here. And we should be okay. Thankfully, it's not Blood Moon anymore. Oh, let's back up. There we go. Out. Thankfully, it's not Blood Moon anymore. It looks like he's actually killing himself. Which is perfect. Okay, this is good. This is good. Yeah, we've got him. We got this. We got this. <laughs> Probably like the least exciting with a boss battle ever. Because we've cheated a little bit. But... There we go. And we got our nether cube. Nice. <laughs> okay. Well, like I say, kind of the most anticlimactic with a fight ever. Because we knew what we were going to get. And we kind of cheated to get there. Our base is an absolute mess right now. Uh, just covered in dirt spires. I was trying to get back up to get my stuff from the gravestone. It was not happening at all. That wither killed me so flipping fast. I even made a couple more sets of iron armor. We have like four now. Uh, in order to try and beat that thing. And it just was not working. Look at this. It's a flipping... Flipping disaster zone. So, the good news is we have our Wither Skeleton. Uh, our, bleh, we have our Nether Star. And what we should be able to do now is get some um, some of those unstable ingots and make the Angel Ring. So, let's start by dumping all of the junk in our inventory that we don't need, which is pretty much most of it. Uh, we are going to need that uh, Division Sigil that we just had. We're going to need an activated one. We are going to need two diamonds, which is the last amount that we have. I think we might have some more in those chests outside, but I'm not too sure. Uh, we're going to need two iron. Here we go. One, two. Uh, I think we need a gold. Now, we want to make sure we have everything on us at once. Because, like I said, that uh, those unstable ingots will explode after 10 seconds. So, we have 10 seconds to craft this uh, before the unstable ingots explode and we can no longer do it. So, we need that. We need some glass. We'll take all of you. I'm going to make sure that everything is here in order, ready to go. And I think we have just about everything. So... Are we right? Yep. Nether cube. Two unstable ingots worth of stuff. We have just this must be down here. 
And yes, I think we are good to go. So, let's go ahead and quickly craft up a vanilla crafting bench. Here we go. <laughs> let's throw this thing down. And now we have to be fast. So, here goes nothing. Boom, boom. Unstable ingots, unstable ingots. Where did the other one go? Oh, no, no, no. Come on, please, 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 please. Boom. Ooh, ooh, that was that was far too close. That was far too close. However, on the bright side, we can now do this. Nice. Look at that. We uh, we don't have our jetpack on, and we can fly around as if it was in creative mode. Uh, for some reason, we are getting some god awful flickering, uh, which I hope is not to anything to do with uh, the angel ring, but it might be. Uh, let me try. Yeah, no, that's definitely not to do with the age of Let's just try to do a quick refresh. Uh, I'll try and figure out what to do with that. It's probably something like Fast Craft or something. Uh, messing up a little bit. But with that, guys, I'm going to end the episode there. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please hit like. I will go ahead and clean up this base between next to this episode and next. And next time, I think, where I want to get into uh, either some better big reactor stuff. I want to get uh, an A system. I want to do some auto crafting with applied logistics. I want to get more space in our A system. I want to get faster auto doubling. I want to jump into some Ars Magica 2. There's a bunch of stuff I want to do. And I want to get our quarry up and running bigger and faster than ever so we can get even more stuff coming through and and doing more awesome stuff so yeah thanks for watching guys again if you did enjoy the video please hit like and i will see you next time bye bye